Hey guys, welcome to your 11th lesson on batch file scripting, and today I'll be teaching you about uh, encrypting your batch files, so using uh, basic encryption techniques. Now this may uh, seem kind of confusing or advanced, but it's actually not that hard to do. All you need to do is uh, use a set command to make variables that represent a certain character and then compile them into one big batch file, so that when someone opens it up, they'll see like a bunch of set commands and then they won't really know what's going on. So this comes uh, in handy if you're making like a, a password system and you don't want people to see it if they cl right click and then click edit. Because then a normal user can't, doesn't really know what se the set command does. So they won't really understand what it, what it looks like since it's encrypted. So let me just um, show you. So right here, we want to, uh, in the end, we want to have an encrypted batch file that does exactly what uh, this does. So it just displays hello world on a screen. So right uh, here is going to be the encrypted batch file in a... Uh, this uh, notepad document. So it says add echo off, and then you'll see what I'm doing. Set A, set B, set C, set D, set E, set F, and set G. Now let me just put in equal signs after this. I'll explain what I'm doing just in a second. Okay, so let me set A to H, capital H, and then let me set B to I then C to capital W, then D to O, and then R, and then L, and then D, and then set H to equal uh, an exclamation mark. Okay, so what I did here is I set a variable for every letter in a high world. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to display echo, and then 2% signs, and an A. So what this line does right here is it's uh, going to display whatever um, is in A. So in A it's H, so it's going to display H. Now we want to say high world, so uh, we're going to. I'm just going to speed this up by copy pasting this. Uh, okay, so it says. Uh, let me change this to B. So now it would say high, and then a space since I want a space in between here, and then world. So C is W and D is O, and then E is R, and so forth, F, G, and H, and then let me make a pause. So if you were a regular user, you weren't, you wouldn't really know what the heck this meant. You, if you opened up a batch file and you saw this, you'd know that it would, um, this, uh, this word right here, so, or this, uh, phrase right here, high world. But if you were to open up this batch file and you were a regular user, you'd be like, what the heck does this do? Now to make it uh, more difficult, because if you uh, read it down the side of the, just write down, so H-I-W-O-R-L-D and exclamation mark, you figure out that it was a uh, high world. So what you need to do is you could uh, move this into different places. And to make it even more difficult, you could set this to be like random numbers of all sorts and then change that as well to the, those corresponding numbers okay so let's run this now oh this is supposed to be B okay so file save as and I'll name it encrypted dot bat select all files and I'll save it to my desktop Okay, so here it is, right here. Now let's run it. It should say high world. As you can see, it says high world. And this is the encrypted batch file. So it does work. Now if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Um, this is all for this lesson. There are other encryption techniques. You could uh, mess with this uh, whole method and then find new ways to encrypt your batch file. Just make it as hard as you can for the uh, user if you really want to encrypt your batch file that badly. So yeah, uh, make sure you don't post a comment if you want help, because uh, YouTube, it actually uh, doesn't uh, show me if you uh, commented or not when I get lots of comments. So if, uh, make sure you send me a message instead, and uh, just a uh, reference for future le uh, lessons as well. Make sure you just send me a message if you have a question. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.